I am making this video about a club cart that I purchased. It was electric and I'm converting it into a gas. It's got an aluminum frame so it makes it extremely light. We got it opened up and back here. And I started cutting it already and you have to cut out the rear end so you got enough room for the gear to sit on there. As you can see there's a pocket right there for the chain to go through after you put the gear on. I'm doing quite a bit on this. Put the lights in, wired those all up. Put a little bit of carbon fiber on the dash carbon fiber on the front which when we get the engine put in it put the lights in the front it's coming along and the plan is let's put this new 125 cc engine in it there's the exhaust got to do an extension on the exhaust make that fit when you order these for about $316 for a brand new engine, and this is a semi automatic, so it has reverse one, two, and three, but you don't need a clutch on these, you can just shift right through. And this right here is the rear gear, which you had to do some honing on it to get it to fit, okay? And this gear. It's going to go on the rear end here. You got to do a little welding. So weld that gear on right there. And as you can see, I got to cut out the rear end just enough for the chain to fit through. So that's where I'm at right now on this. And I'll keep putting updates on here. And one more thing, if you're wondering what the zombie box is, what this is, is my electrical station which I'm running a lawnmower battery which is plenty of power to start the engine, run the lights and if I end up wanting to put a stereo in it that'll work too and I picked up a lot of goodies for it I'm waiting on a lot of stuff to come in got the 125 emblems they're gonna go on the side there as soon as I get it all finished and then we got rims and tires coming in, uh, steering wheel, and then uh, of course we're gonna finish this all off with the, with the, just like the front with the carbon fiber. I put the wheel wells on there, which I'll take those off when I carbon fiber the back. But should be a pretty sweet machine when I get it all finished. Now I picked this up for about two hundred dollars. Total project's gonna run about 2200 but if you're gonna go out and buy a, a gas golf cart that's been upgraded, well actually run you around 6500 because that's what I was looking at doing first. And then I figured out that I could put the 125 in there and uh, it would actually cost me less money and it would go faster because when it's all said and done, this thing should run with the gear ratio, I believe the gear, I can't remember what the gear ratio was. I think it was 12.3 to one, something like that. And the engine RPM's out at 8,000. But when you do the math with what was in there before, because it was a 48 volt cart that topped out around 3,000 at 20 mile an hour. So if you do the math, you're looking at about 40 mile an hour cart if you were to redline the engine. But it's still going to run faster and you're running on gas so you don't have to worry about charging at all you just put gas in it and you plan on putting the gas tank in right around in here there's a nice spot for it i have to make a board on the bottom or i'm going to mount it up in here and then put a gas cap back right there i've also built this rear seat for it works out pretty good it's one and a half inch piece of womanize and this used to have an old it used to have a dump on the back of it which was all rusted out which is right there which I just cut the legs off it and bolted that on and I ordered matching seat covers for it too 
which <laughs> they're coming in the mail too which on this I'll put padding on and then put the seat on it you know total will run about 50 bucks compared to 200 almost 300 dollars for a flip down seat which I don't want because I got a hitch on back and I want to be able to use it so but uh, keep uh, looking and I'll keep on posting videos as I go it's a fun project if you want to do a gas cart and uh, if you want to have reverse this is the best way to go because if you do a five you know five horse or six horse which I looked at you can only go forward and if you got a golf cart without reverse it doesn't work very good in a lot of tight places so but uh, keep watching the site hey looks like we got more parts showing up right now from uh, so I'll go check that out and see what we got in the mail keep it posted